After delivery, one of the biggest questions that new moms have to constantly ask themselves is, can I eat this? Is this safe for my baby? Well, if you are a foodie, you might have to make some food choices because not all foods are safe for your baby, but breastfeeding moms can eat fish, but you do need to be cautious about what kind it is and how much of it you have. In fact, if you don't normally eat seafood, consider adding it to your pregnancy, pre-pregnancy, or breastfeeding diet because fish offers nutritional benefits, including brain-boosting omega-3s, for you and your baby. On the other hand, seafood contains the metal mercury, which is passed to your baby when you're pregnant and present in breast milk. Too much mercury can harm a baby's developing brain and nervous system. Benefits of eating fish during breastfeeding Fish has all kinds of benefits for breastfeeding moms and babies. It's high in protein and contains omega-3 fats, which are important for optimal development of a baby's nervous system. Problem of fishes The problem is that many of our fish live in polluted waterways and accumulate chemicals, particularly mercury, which can affect a baby's brain. So choose fish that are low in mercury, and avoid fish that have high mercury levels. Which are the safest types of fish to eat while pregnant or breastfeeding? Which fish are high in mercury? The USDA and FDA recommend that pregnant and breastfeeding moms stay away from shark, swordfish, king mackerel and tilefish, those are the ones known to have high mercury levels. Good choices for low mercury fish. Instead, choose low mercury fish, such as salmon, pollock, catfish, shrimp and canned light tuna. Rohu and Katla. Easily digested and low in fat, these fishes are high in minerals such as zinc, iron and calcium. They are primarily found in rivers and have very low mercury content in them. If you eat locally caught fish, check local advisories for recommendations regarding fish consumption from that body of water. If no local recommendations are available, restrict your intake of locally caught fish to 6 ounces in a week, and don't eat fish from other sources in that same week. Also, look out for the different types of tuna. Albacore tuna typically contains more mercury than canned light tuna, so if you eat albacore, don't have more than 6 ounces of it in a week. Which fish are high in omega-3s? Fish high in omega-3 fatty acids include salmon, herring, mussels, trout, sardines, and pollock. How much omega-3s do I need each day? Breastfeeding women get 250 mg of EPA, or DHA a week by eating at least 8 ounces, of seafood that's rich in omega-3s weekly. How much fish can I safely eat while breastfeeding? Women who are pregnant, may become pregnant, or nursing eat 2 to 3 4 ounce servings a week, 8 to 12 ounces in total, of low mercury seafood. What should I avoid eating while breastfeeding? 5 foods to limit or avoid while breastfeeding. Fish high in mercury. Some herbal supplements. Alcohol. Caffeine. Highly processed foods. What happens when you consume fish during breastfeeding possible side effects? Fishes that are high on mercury like shark and swordfish can cause harm to the developing baby. When you consume fish, the body absorbs methyl mercury present in it. Small quantities of it enter breast milk and are enough to cause harm to the baby's developing brain. Pollution in the water bodies contaminate the fishes that live in them. These chemicals and pollutants that fishes consume get transferred to the baby through breast milk. Babies are more vulnerable to mercury because they are still in the development stage. Mercury in fish affects the cognitive and motor skills of the baby. Predator fishes have more mercury because they feed on small fishes which already have mercury in them. Also, it is best to consult your doctor in case of any doubts. When you buy fish make sure if the fillets and its body flesh are firm and shiny. That way you can make sure that the fish is fresh and safe. A little care and alertness is all that is required to make the lactating phase smooth and safe for you and your baby. And that's not too much, is it?